MYA May 14th, 2015. Um, I was homeless. My landlord wanted me out and I was out by May 31st and didn't have a plan, didn't have nowhere to go and I came up like the hotel. So me and the kids stayed at the hotel for about 30 days and we had nowhere to go. So of course we did the unthinkable, sleep in the car, sleep at relatives house. But a friend told me about Miss Dora and I came and Miss Dora um, helped me out a lot. I've been here a year and a half. And I like the program. I help her out time to time. And it's, it's really hard. And I have five kids and I'm a single parent. You know, I just want, you know, to take care of my family the best way I can. So now I'm still in MYA. Been here for a year and a half. And I like being here because sometimes I can talk about my problems. And it makes me feel better. Sometimes I can sit and cry and it makes me feel better. But at the end of the day, I'm still right where I'm not, I'm not happy to be where I need to be. It's with a job, supporting my family in this heart. I, I, I absolutely understand. It's real painful and the struggle is real. As I sit in the women's groups, You've seen me come in there, and I've watched the pain going around the room, but I've also watched the empowerment of how the women share with each other. Can you talk about that a little bit? We, we share a lot of pain. We share grief. You know, it's, it's hard to have nobody in your corner. Don't have your back at the end of the day. And just be you and your kids. Um, I have family live here and my family don't even help me. When I'm in a bad situation, my, my family would not help me. It's hard to talk to, you know, people in my family because they're not there for me. But as long as I got Miss Dora in my corner, Okay. Amazing. And, and I've heard that over and over again about Dura and her love and the ability that she has to cry with you, to support you, to help you, and also tough love. And share her story with us as right. well. Right. So tell me, about, tell me about that. How does it make you feel with Dura? That real, what is that... Um, inspiration and empowerment that Dora gives you? Well, she, 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 I take on a lot. Um, Miss Dora is very wonderful. I mean, if it weren't for Miss Dora, I probably wouldn't know where my next meal would come from, where I'd be sleeping at, or, you know, is my kids and I ain't gonna be okay? You know, now, sometimes I feel depressed, sometimes I feel happy. You know, I got too much that I'm dealing with that Ms. Dora is helping me with. Um, and the first time when she helped me, I was sad all the time, depressed, suicidal a lot. I mean, I was taking on a lot. And now it's like I'm still taking on a lot, but they're my own problems that I deal with. And the women's and the women's group helped me to deal with the problems. What, what do you... Tell me about, a little bit more about your childhood and tell me about what you feel is the root cause of your homelessness. Well, my childhood wasn't always for a kid. My mom was on drugs. I came from a very abusive relationship. A very household did not care. I was at age 15, had to take care of a baby that wasn't even mine. And it was my mom's. You know, my mom is 62 and she still has a crack problem. And I have a problem with that. I mean, I can't go to her when I'm down and out. I can't go to her when I need anything. I have to turn to my sister or 
turn to my boyfriend just to get the little help that I need to get by with my kids. You know, I mean, I came from a rough childhood. I mean, really rough. I've been raped. You know, I've been molested. i just been through it all. I have. And I'm trying to focus on myself and find myself now. I, well, the, the amazing thing is to see you sitting here today empowered by what Dura and MYA um, does for not only you, but a lot of women in the community. And to show you that the strength is going to come from within and to help you with that, help you to deliver, to, um, to, to, to get through, to get by. But Dura also has this vision for you that you may not see when you first walk in her door. She has this vision where she's taking you. This is the first step. But as we have called it disrupting poverty, she has this vision that is this stair step to success for you. Um, that she may not dole it out at one time, but over that period of time of her programming of making women's group mandatory, tenant training mandatory, it's that education piece the mentoring and then the coaching. We she, can you talk? Can you talk about that? Um, I love coming to the women's group on Tuesday. It inspired me to get some of the anger, the frustration, um, the embarrassing off our chest as a woman, as women's. Um, and another thing, it's it's really nice to come here. We sit, talk civilized like adults, not argue. Uh, Ms. Doris, she tells us her stories and what she's been through and, you know, and we just sit there and act like civilized people because some people at the end of the day cannot get together and act civilized mm -hmm. or without call, name calling. But this organization is really good for most women and young youth that really needs it. I need it. A lot of kids needs it as well. Can you tell me about, thank you for that. Thank you for sharing this. This is uh, very, very critical um, for what Dora Mentoring Young Adults is trying to do in the community and really uplift and help more, more and more people in the community. Let's talk about the community for a minute. Let's talk about, tell me what is going on in the community? What's going on even from a mom's perspective, and your children? Well, I'm a mother of four. Uh, I don't... Uh, the, the community right now is really, really messed up because I've been here 21 years, and it's changed over the years. It's black-on-black -black crimes with kids and teenagers. Uh, the community is so messed up where you could just see a person... The whole streets is dirty. You know, the community can't get along. And they argue, and they bicker, and they fighting. But one thing that I can say, like, around here, Miss Doris helped this community. And she's trying to help other communities see that, hey, you know, I can reach out. Y'all can reach out to each and individual's communities. And that's what we need. More black people like Miss Doris to step, step up and say, hey, we need to... Excuse me. Mm -hmm. To get our communities together and something, you know, programs. I mean, Miss Dora opened up her doors, and she don't like to tell nobody no, and she don't tell nobody no. But at the end of the day, this MYA is very good for people's youth and teens. It, it is. Miss Dora keep it real. She keep one hundred. She don't sugarcoat anything. You know, me as a mother, I don't like to see kids with their pants sagging. I tell my own kids, pull up your pants. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, they don't gang bang. They, none of, they don't shoot. They don't get in trouble. They go to work. Some kids mm -hmm. out here good, but some kids come from a bad home that's been broken. That needs to be fixed. It's never too late to fix your broken home because I'm trying to fix my things. Mm. That's that's powerful. That that takes me into thinking about disrupting poverty 
You mentioned that you have been living here 21 years. That make you feel, what do you think when you think about that? It's your life. It, it kind of makes me feel kind of bad, sad, disappointed, you know. And I tell my kids, I didn't have a kid. I didn't have a teenage life. I didn't have no type of life. Because mm -hmm. here I go from 14 to 15 trying to make it. I don't like trying to make my mom get out of poverty, but mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. we stuck and stuck in poverty, and here I am, couldn't go to school to get an education that I needed for me because I'm watching kids, watching your baby, you know, so it's taken away from me, and now here I go, a parent trying to go to school, but what about my kids, or what are they doing, and who they got in my house while I'm at work or at school, you know, it's like, when you try to do something for your kids, it's like, Somebody or some things always knock you down, mm -hmm. no matter what you try to do or how you try to do it. Tell me about this, the school, the education. And and are you referring to you live in St. Paul? Yes. Okay, so. Well, I, did, I, I used to work at a St. Paul school mm -hmm. where one of the moms came. Our daughter was a sophomore in school. She was, the girl was very smart, but the teacher didn't think so. She says, well, I don't think she's smart. You know, um, to me, it was like the teacher wasn't trying to teach the kids anything because I was like a teacher assistant. And the teacher wasn't trying to teach these kids anything. He is like they didn't care. I don't understand when it comes to homelessness, mm -hmm. why doesn't the governor try to help those who try to help themselves? Paul can't do it. Right. St. Paul have less funding, less housing, less anything, and it mm -hmm. doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, two shelters in the state of Minnesota and St. Paul, Minneapolis got three and four, we got two. All these homeless kids out here living on the streets with nowhere to go is because of the government, and it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. it, it really doesn't. Property is over. Overboard, you know, capacity kids, teenagers, you know, welfare, SSI, you know, and I, I, I just been on uh, welfare was seven years, and if they would have never knocked the metro down, down, I probably wouldn't have been in property because I didn't get Section Eight, mm -hmm. I lost that, right. so therefore that wasn't really it was important, but it wasn't that important, right? It right. Went, and I'm struggling without it. But in a way, it's kind of good not to. In a kind of way, it's not. So where are you living now? No living room. Kitchen, bathroom, just one room. Okay. And I'm trying to do better to get right. out of that. And then where you you said you went to school. Did you finish high school? I finished high school. You had a G GED or a high school diploma? I had a high school diploma. Okay. And um, what kind of training? Like what kind of... Beyond high school, um, I got a little skills computer, but not as much as I had then. Okay. Cause after the Metrodome went out of business, I just stopped working. What's the Metrodome? The U.S. Bank Stadium. Oh, I used to work okay. There used to work years. there. Got it. So I when they close that, union. got I was it. Because really I love that job. Oh. That's what I'm trying to get back into now. Too. Okay. Oh. I, I used to work there. I used to be in the union, and I loved the job. Cause, I mean, wrestling and seeing a lot of things mm -hmm. that I never seen as a kid, you know, that I mm -hmm. never experienced. I love right, it. Right, 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 right. Being famous. In a perfect world, what would you like to see happen in your life? Honestly, I don't know. Okay, well, in a perfect world where you have to answer that question <laughs> with something other than I don't know. Oh, God, this, that's a good question, actually. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> um, I would like to be a better person, a parent, a wife, a friend. Okay, all right. Okay, would you like to go back to school? Would you like to... That's, um, my, that's my move to another state. Would you like to all that move? I'm going back to school in the following ways. If you were to okay, think about right here where you are coming through MYA. 
What would you tell funders, supporters, people that were supporting this agency? What is it that Dora needs? What more does she need? Let, let's talk about that for a minute. How can the, the governor, you talked about the governor, how can they help MYA help you? Help the family. Help family. Wrap it around the family and really help. Yeah. Is it with specifics like education? What kind of we programs need, um, do you need? We need more educations. We need more shelters. We need more housing. We need more um, more people's like Dora, first of all. Okay. And that's the main thing. We need more women's like Dora. We need the education. Our kids need that. We definitely need more shelters, housing. You know, we just need a lot of experience. And people need to start focusing on, on their self instead of focusing on everybody else. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank